right all right back again with another how would i say a body cam video reaction good morning good afternoon and good evening to you all like comment subscribe i'm not even gonna hold you i'm ready to get into this this is track star versus two cops let's get it on May 31st, 2023, officers from the Glendale Police Department in Wisconsin discovered a stolen BMW. Acting efficiently, officers preemptively organized numerous spike strips to stop this suspect from escaping. With heavy oh, traffic wow. during the afternoon rush hour, officers devise a plan to quickly spike the vehicle to limit speeds should the driver flee. Don't let these cars go. Oh. Turn your lights and hit it. You already, Matt. You let like three go. Okay. He about to hit the car. Oh, there he is, right there. Part two, we're going to be making a felony stop, 1300 block of 13 cents, Silver Spring. Get it? Got stuck. Looks like we're in pursuit. Heading east down in Silver Spring. Time to get it. Okay, got one and two. Did they get it? Okay, are they getting the wheels? Don't worry about radio. At least behind you. Just drive. She running. Yeah, cause she not going to the freeway. She trying to go in and out. Oh, get out According the way. to police reports, the suspect lost control of the vehicle and slammed into the back of a utility vehicle that was surrounded oh, by workers. Shit. Immediately afterwards, she flees on foot. She ran. Since oh, she the incident running. wasn't fully caught on dash cam, our team of volunteers worked to obtain security camera footage of the crash. Like she running, running. Woo, she running. Good God. Seven four two vehicles cleared. Are y'all y'all catching her, right? What do you have eyes on? Are you guys all okay? All right. I mean, they're fine. They trying to figure out what's going on. Go north on Bayshore Drive. Where's she at? Yo, y'all lost her. Bath and Body Works. I know she did not go in the store. Oh, never mind. They called her. Okay. According to police reports, this officer was able to gain ground on the suspect. She eventually gave up and laid down on the ground before the officer reached her. Unfortunately, the report also indicates that the officer was in the middle of sinking his body camera to his cruiser when the incident occurred, preventing us from witnessing that full scene. The police report indicated uh, that the mall had outdoor security cameras that may have captured okay. the scene. We he had our team of volunteers it. obtain the footage. However, the cameras were set to automatically pan, tilt, and zoom in various angles. Unfortunately, all cameras that could have Couldn't captured the scene were facing away from the apprehension when it occurred. Ah, that sucks. Where's your shoes? Bro! Let's roll you over. We're going to get you some breath. <laughs> bro, I know she did not tie you out that that quick, bro. Like, you, yeah, you need to hit that gym. <laughs> they run that back. You need to hit that gym, bro. 
Where's your shoes? That's where he ran out of his shoes. Get you some breath, okay? Stand up. Just sit up. Sit up. Just catch your breath, all right? Yeah, she she was running, running. She out of breath. Probably out of breath. Catch your breath. You good? Let's no, no. Let's get her up. Let's put her on the bench over there. Stand your breath. Okay. One, two, three. Oh we'll my God. Like she was running. Uh, we're in Rob. Just give me the last four of the kids. She little small little thing too. Oh my god. You just out of breath, right? Yeah. How old are you? Oops, sorry. How old are you? 21. 21? What's your name? What's your first name? Come on, you shouldn't be that out of breath. You're 21 years old. After her arrest, court documents suggest that the 21-year-old suspect would remain under strict supervision until her verdict was decided roughly five months later. She faced charges for operating without the owner's consent, fleeing, oh. obstructing, and second-degree recklessly endangering safety. She eventually submitted a guilty plea. For second-degree recklessly endangering safety, she was sentenced one year in the House of Corrections. But that sentence was stayed. Instead, she will face two years of probation, with the potential for 60 days at the House of Corrections upon her parole agent's discretion. Oh, All so other charges were dismissed, but read in. She is legally restricted from possessing firearms and voting. While these security cameras couldn't catch the apprehension, a camera from safetyvid.org likely captured a bird's eye view of your freeway crash. If you're looking for footage of a freeway accident you were involved in, head over to our friends at safetyvid.org and download oh, okay. traffic camera footage of your crash today. All right, so we can't touch anything yet. Oh, no, I'm not sure. Because I need, I need to uh, get the photos. We'll write an accident report. Yeah, no, I'm not going to. I just wanted to see. Is uh, it a company truck or what? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was up on the ladder. I'll say right here. <laughs> right, this was here. I'm going to win all the way up. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, I'll just stay out of you guys' way. Okay. Wow. Yo, she was running, man. She was running, running. That that's that's crazy. Wow. Never seen her run that fast, and then it tired out the police officer. Wow, he ran out of his shoes. <laughs> oh boy. So she basically took somebody's vehicle without their consent. And ran off with it. Like, who does that? In this case, she probably was joyriding, so we don't know. But either way, at the end of that, you know, next video.